So if you're like most of us gun nuts, when someone says the name Hiram Maxim, you immediately think of the Maxim machine gun. Because that's what he did, right? Well, what you may not think of are things like light bulbs, uh, gas furnaces, airplanes, and explosives. Which, it turns out, were also very much in Hiram Maxim's life. A week ago, I certainly didn't know that, and I bet a lot of you folks don't either. Well, the way I found out was reading a biography of Hiram Maxim and his brother Hudson, a book called Blood Brothers by Ian McCallum. It's a, a, a very well-documented biography of the two, and there's really quite a lot of history uh, behind the Maxim machine gun that uh, you probably didn't know about that's really interesting to find out. Turns out Hiram was really a genius at anything that he put his mind to. Uh, very technical, very curious, and, and very fast learning. He started out his career in uh, the, the city gas grid when uh, public lighting was still done using natural gas. And uh, he was an early pioneer in electric lighting uh, alongside contemporaries like Thomas Edison. In fact, he was enough of a pioneer in lighting that Edison's financial backers effectively paid him a big bribe to move over to Europe and stop experimenting with electricity so that Edison could keep developments and patents under his own wing and build a, a larger, more profitable business empire. They, they offered Maxim really a princely sum of money at that time um, in exchange for simply leaving. And he happily took the money wandered over to England and started tinkering with machine guns, which is the part of the story I think we are all at least passingly familiar with. Um, he, of course, designed the Maxim gun, sold it to basically every country on the planet, and then eventually got kind of bored with it and started looking into other things and found his way into the field of early aeronautics, where he was again a pioneer. Um, not as notable as someone like uh, Orville Wright, or Wilbur Wright, but uh, at, at the time, in his day, very well known for his experiments. Uh, in particular, he built a monstrously huge um, early biplane powered actually by a steam engine. Um, 17 foot in diameter propellers on the thing. It's huge. Um, and ran a lot of experiments with it, and was actually successfully able to achieve powered flight with it. So I, of course, learned this all uh, reading this biography here, and I think I'd highly recommend that uh, anyone else interested in learning not just about the mechanics of firearms, but also about the personalities and the, the characters behind the, these major developments in firearms history. I think you'd be really interested in reading uh, this particular biography. Be aware that it is a biography of the Maxim brothers and not a history of the Maxim gun. So there are, if you go into it expecting it to be a whole thick book about the machine gun, you may be a bit disappointed. It is, in fact, a whole book about Hiram Maxim and his brother and his son, um, which happens to deal in part with the machine gun that he invented. So, all in all, keep that in mind when you order it, and I think you'll really enjoy it. There's a lot to be learned here. A lot of people really don't know half the background of, of Maxim and his many, many contributions to modern technology. So hop on down to the link below the video and you can pick up a copy on Amazon and I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching.